This is a Pelican 1510 case, and it is the carry-on size Pelican case. And I'm about to fit all of this gear in this case, or at least I think I am. You see, the goal of this video is to condense my filmmaking kit from this to something that can fit in this case so that I can take it on small jobs. And I know what you're thinking. What are you gonna shoot with that tiny little filmmaking kit? But the truth is I do a lot of small interview jobs and some other projects that are like social media based. And so I need a small kit that fits in one case that can go anywhere. And first we gotta prep the case. So let's get into it. So first things first, what we have is the case as it is right now, which is not good, okay? We got this DIY Trek Pack stuff. It's not solid and there's not much organization. There's one big pocket here with a couple small things, not good. So let's get that out and then I'll show you what we're gonna put in instead. Okay, that took shockingly little time. But now I have this thing. Uh, that just looks like foam, hang on. This is just foam. So once you got the extra pieces in, then it can just slide in like this. And now we have a nice padded area. And I'm already looking at the amount of space in here and I'm not feeling very good about my idea. But let's just start putting stuff in and we'll see what happens, okay? First things first is the camera. This is my Blackmagic 6K full frame and it's amazing. So I guess we're just gonna put it right here. Dear God, that takes up so much space. I'm beginning to rethink everything, but we're just, we must press on, so. So we got this and this, and we're just gonna plop this here. Okay, camera is secured. Um, the, the issue with this is I've got my whole camera rig needs to fit in here as well. So we're gonna try to do that. So we've got the base plate. I'm gonna throw the battery plate in here like this. Grab the top handle like that. What you can't see is I have a little organizer on the top lid. So I'm gonna put the rods in the organizer, okay? Bingo. God, this is not gonna work. Okay. We can fit a battery, V-mount battery right there. So that's feeling good so far. As far as camera rigs go, all the camera stuff is over here, aside from a power supply, which is gonna go in our top lid organizer. CF Express cards also in the organizer. This took up is taking up more space than I think it should. Let's just keep trying, okay? Let's keep putting stuff in, and we'll see what happens. So next we have the small HD monitor, very important, and it's gonna slide right in there with one of these to go here and here. Love the way that fits, okay. I think I can just put it here and space is filling up. Next, for something that I am actually excited about, we have our light. Now, this is a Surrey C150X. It's a bicolor 150 watt light and it happens to be really small. So it is gonna get to live right here, boom. There's a whole light in there. Got a shotgun mic. This is going in the lid organizer. Um, something else that I am not really sure if it'll fit, but I would love for it to fit is this Amaran 60X. Um, I would love to have two lights in this setup. That's what would make it best for me. So we're gonna go ahead and put it, I guess right there, maybe, maybe like that. The big thing that I don't know what we're gonna do with um, is power supplies. I have an idea for this, but right now I'm really not sure. So we've got the Rode wireless goes that need to go in here. So they're gonna go right here. I think we'll have just enough room for another lens, or four lens, because um, I don't have that yet. Okay. Road wireless goes and a lens. Let's get a lens. So I've got this Leica R 35 millimeter prime but normally I might run any random assortment of lenses, ideally a zoom. But for now, this can live right here. And honestly, it works perfectly. It would probably live somewhere like that, room on either side to have a longer lens, or we could put it vertically like this, and it would kind of sit like that. This 
makes me really happy. In the organizer, we've uh, we got the power supply along with a couple other cables. We have the cards, our lens adapter. This one is ripped, so can't use that. And then in here, we have a shotgun mic and the two uh, rods, 15 millimeter rods. I do need to put the shotgun mic in a, you know, little case. Um, but for now, that works. We've got lots of other things that still need to go on the case. First things first, um, I think I'm gonna do tripod. Boom. So originally I was using these larger stands from Kupo. Um, this is a pretty great little baby combo. But now I am resorting to the smaller stands from Matthews. Both great options. The Matthews stands are a little bit more expensive. Okay, so we'll do that, that, and that. I'd love to get a third stand on there because if we're gonna run a boom mic, then we're gonna need a third stand. I believe in this bungee cord. Come on. And we're bungeed. Okay, we got one bungee on. That was way too hard. Um, much harder than I'd like to admit. But we do have one bungee on, which means Second bungee should go just fine. Son of a nutcracker. All right, second bungee is on. That is dense, holy crap. <laughs> wow. All right, if I can just be totally transparent, I didn't expect this to work, so it is working and I'm gonna show it to you. Ideally, we would slide a boom pole right here. So we're gonna put our boom pole holder on the top here like this. Now all I have left are the power cables for the lights and the XLR cables um, for the mic, which in theory, you could just hang right here. We really don't need two soft boxes. So we'll just bring this one and it will go hanging on one of these things. So last but not least, we've got this power supply thing here, this power supply thing here. Really what I need for these are very large cable ties that I don't have, but I promised everything in one case for this video. So hang on, I have an idea. CRD bag, why didn't I think of this earlier? This is magic. We're gonna drop our power supplies in here, some clamps. And if I'm lucky, I'm using such a small softbox that I wanna be able to hang a shower curtain kind of over it to create kind of a ghost light effect and it's gonna give me a larger, softer source with some better roll off. CRD bags are so large, or they can be, it all fits in here. I don't know if you can see this, but a very nice little clip here, and it clips perfectly onto the bungee cord. So it really does all fit. And the only thing that's missing is a little boom pole that would easily fit in the bungee cord system. The real question I think for me is, who is this case good for? Well, in my opinion, you've got a tripod, a single camera setup that is a full like cinema camera rig. You're gonna be able to keep two V mounts, two lights, a lens, a wireless mic system, as well as a shotgun mic system. You're gonna be able to keep three lighting stands, the tripod, softbox, all the cables you could possibly need, everything you might need, aside from I would say like a four by floppy, you've got everything that you would need to shoot a corporate interview. I think if you have a small vehicle, this is a great solution for you. If you find yourself going into buildings, like having to go up tons of floors and stuff, and you don't have a cart or anything like that, and you're taking tons of trips back and forth, I think a solution like this is also very good for you because, I mean, I can take a couple things off this 
um, and then load it into the car, keep the stands and everything on it, and then I'll be able to load it back out, hang a couple things on it, and I'm gonna be good to go. Obviously, if you're not a one-man band filmmaker, then this may not be super beneficial for you, but I do think that the just uh, process of figuring out how condensed you can make everything is super helpful. For me, this case is gonna be perfect. This is how I'm gonna keep my camera rig and my audio gear all the time. And when I need to, I'm gonna strap on some stands and hang some stuff on it, and it's gonna be good to go for me for those short, really quick shoots, like quick interviews or quick social content. I am not saying that this is the absolute best solution, and you're not gonna be able to fit the best gear in this solution. So yeah, this is my one stand, one case setup. It's super heavy, I can't believe. Yeah, that's my one case filmmaking kit. And if you're interested in all the pieces that I used for this kit, I've made a huge list of all the items down in the description below so you can check that out. If you're interested in more like one man band filmmaker type things like this, let me know in the comments any videos you want me to make and I'll put them on the list. Okay, thanks.